and around terrorism financing. Those uh, uh, perspective of the government, the spokesman naming that is the focus. It is uh, about uh, making sure that we get them, uh, those who are financing terrorism, to face uh, the courts and the justice. And um, uh, Malami Abubakar Malami S A N, the Minister of Justice and Attorney General, also said we are going to tackle them. Those are the words. Okay, and then the second matter that I have on the table today has to do with this matter that I started, uh, you know, on Tuesday. Um, about um, one of us, I mean, a uh, journalist, uh, well recognized journalist in Oyo State, as a matter of fact, in Nigeria. I'm talking about um, uh, Tony, uh, whom we call Don T. Uh, the general manager of Jams FM, who was uh, harassed and battered by police uh, over the weekend. And then, you know, uh, then the questions about police brutality uh, facing Nigerians as a collective and essentially about this class of people. So I have the representatives here who are going to be, uh, they're going to be talking to me about what they experience. I'm talking about those who ride these special motorcycles. Oh, I shouldn't call it a motorcycle, really. <laughs> those who ride power bikes. Okay. I remember in my neighborhood, there was, there's one man who rides, you know, a very big bike like that. And, you know, we always, ah, uh, why is this man making noise and all that? Maybe uh, that's why they face this kind of, uh, you know, uh, treatment in the public space. We will bring them to the microphone in a moment. It's still talking points on Splash FM here in the city of Ibadan. Remember the name Michael or Latsun Boson gleefully returning to the microphone this Thursday. So where do we begin this program today? Uh, okay, so let me bring um, my guests to the microphone. Okay, um, all right. So very quickly, uh, let me introduce uh, them to you. So that you can you know understand what they face and the perspective basically talking about uh police brutality uh with this special set of people austin obey is here good afternoon good afternoon sir welcome thank you very much i understand you are the secretary of uh, pillion riding club am i correct yes i am okay so uh, pillion riding club just tell me about the club well uh pillion riding club is a club that is a um that is, a, that is uh, made to uh, encompass a group of bikers, young professionals uh, across all walks of life that share a passion in motorcycling. And uh, apart from motorcycling, we love to tour and see what the the nature and and uh, every other thing that entails our motorcycling about. Yeah, it's a special set of people, right? Uh, well, you could say a special set of people because it takes a lot of courage to ride a motorcycle. A lot of courage. Uh, not your regular Okada. Mm. <laughs> Even the re regular Okada. You're welcome to Talking Points today. Thank you very You're much. You're also a member of the Riders Club, right? Yes, I oh. am. Why, why are you in this business? Or oh, is it a business, really, or just a um, you know, leisure organization or something? It's, um, it's, it's not really a business. Um, okay. I think it's something around following your passion. Oh, passion. Everybody has passion in different aspects of life. Okay. And then we all have different ways of expressing those passions. Okay. And one of the things um, Austin mentioned when he was introducing Pin and Riding Club, he said he's a group of young people. Austin's a young person. I'm not that young. Okay. <laughs> My point, we accommodate everybody. Your age, your sex, your status doesn't determine your membership of, of, of Pilium. Okay. But the passion that we all have in common, I think that's what drives um, the membership of Pilium. The other thing about Pilium, beyond all these motorcycles that make a lot of noise and us touring all over the place, one other thing that we do as, as, as a collective is charity. Mm. We also, as a collective, decide and amongst ourselves who can we impact in the society. So okay. look beyond those motorcycles and the noise they make, look at also the other impact we make wherever we find ourselves okay so could the noise that uh, you know your motorcycles make you know very big loud noise could it also be um a form of challenge while you know it's uh, you know part of the nature of the the kind of uh, motorcycles that you ride yeah. austin uh, well it's not really a challenge it comes with the territory of the bike itself the bike itself is a big engine and uh, Obviously, with a loud engine, with a big engine, you, you expect a loud exhaust that comes with it. It's not really a challenge, although some people actually, you see it as a, some noise around the neighborhood, but 
you know it's a uh, it's just the way the motorcycle is designed mm. and i wanted to add to what sonia said in my interest with that uh, most of the pillar members are also special marshals and the road safety oh wow so we we, we are giving back to the site it's not just about motorcycling alone Mm. Okay, so um, I was saying earlier on, um, the lead to this the conversation was about the brutality of, um, you know, fellow journalists, uh, who is a general manager. He was here uh, before he left and then he has become a general manager in a radio station here yes. in the city of Ibadan. He was brutalized by the police on Sunday, yes, yes. and uh, he, he recounted his experience, you know, um, that, you know, people started that the gentleman, or the policeman, so to speak, you know, started harassing him, beating him and all that. And, um, you know, in conversations, we were told that many people who ride power bikes face this kind of situation. Yes, we do. So tell me, um, have you... time we, we ride, you understand, we are like um, the flashpoint to, to security operations. I remember traveling to uh, somewhere after Arochuku in the east, okay. sometimes back now, like a year and a half. We still had the suspect on the road then. Then we had to, just after being in bypass, they had to flag us down, two of us. And you know, they were doing their routine checks, but they, they took it beyond the routine check because they stripped us of all our luggages, checked it, and at the end of the day, they went as far as taking our phones, mm. you know? But, uh, you know, we, being people that were well informed and all those kind of scenarios and stories that people tell, We've had the information that most of the time police actually usually do check your phones and the first thing they do is probably go to your messages and see bank alerts and probably they want to do some funny things there. So what what we did basically before that trip was just probably to delete all our bank messages, alerts and all that stuff. We only left things that were just regular things for them to see. But I felt embarrassed. You know, they delayed us for like an hour. You imagine you traveling from Lagos to the east and you are just in a spot under the bridge with them, they could probably have done anything to you and they will get away with it. So it's something that it's bothering everybody. Tony, you guys are very rich, you know. Uh, so, uh, you know, when you have to buy a motorcycle, motorcycle, yeah, uh, you know, motorcycle, and then you have to pay, you know, fat amount. So people see you guys as you say, you have so much money and then you are also, you know, flaunting it, you know, and, and all that. So you guys could, you know, be vulnerable like many of us are. Michael, I use the Nigerian palace. I receive it in Jesus' name. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's, I, I think it's a general perception around, it's a human thing. Things you don't understand, you're a bit afraid of. Mm. Mm. So yes, you see bikers or you see motorcyclists riding these nice looking motorcycles and the assumption is, look, this is money misshoot. This man has too much money. That's why he's doing whatever he's doing. Um, I don't completely agree with that. Yes, you need to have a bit of, in quote, liquidity. You need to have a bit of liquidity to be able to afford those kind of motorcycles. Mm. But one thing you also need to recognize is there's a lot of responsibility that comes with riding those kind of motorcycles. Mm. So we're aware of that. And then there's something around respecting every road user. Mm -hmm. I ride my motorcycle, I respect you. The expectation is even if you're in your car, you also need to respect me. Yeah. Something Austin said earlier on, why does our motorcycle make noise? You hear when they said to kids, kids are meant to be seen, not heard. Mm. Motorcycle is a bit different. Why? Okay. Your car, if anything happens, your car is a cage that protects you. Yeah. Your motorcycle, there's no cage. Mm -hmm. You are your cage. So we have to be noisy so that you can see me or you can hear me before you see me. That way everybody is protected. That is one. Two, around the beat around we are rich folks that we don't know what we're doing. Maybe not exactly. Yes, we have a bit of liquidity to be able to afford those things. But like I said earlier on, we ride, but it's beyond riding. It's also Passion. what impact do we live in our society? If all I'm doing is riding motorcycle around town, then I'm not very different from the Okada riders. But it goes beyond riding motorcycle. What else am I doing to add value to society? That's what the riders are about, and that's what Pilium riding motorcycle. So you guys have also become vulnerable, like many of us. So tell me, um, what exactly, um, you know, are your uh, what's what's your grouse now? What exactly do you do you, you know see? I, I want you to restate it in plain terms. And uh, what exactly do you guys want, or you, on our behalf as well? <laughs> All of us are endangered species journalists. Yes. Yeah, you know the, the country is as, as it is, and uh, we have so much insecurity issues 
surrounding everywhere. So the police should not probably make it worse by making us also feel insecure. You know, what happened to Dante could have happened to anybody. Well, Dante is a known figure, it's a, it's a public figure. You know, people can always rally around him and make noise, but it could happen to anybody on the street. It could happen to any any of us. If I don't know anybody now, then that's that's just it. But what we are here is talk about is the speaking out and the calling out of the police and calling out of the injustice that has been done. That this is not the way to go about things because when a person of power doesn't mean you abuse or misuse the power. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So um. You said that uh, some of your members are also special marshals and the rest of it. Yes. Um, so tell me the rapport that you, your, your members or those who ride power bikes have with um, you know, so, some other security agencies. Since you use the road a lot, uh, you must have encounters with uh, you know, even vehicle inspection officers, yes. you know, road safety. You have uh, you know, the state's versions of the road safety. Apart from even, for instance, in Ogun State, you have Trace. In Lagos, you have uh, LASMA and all that. You have all of them. Tell me how each of these units, you know, attend to your unions. Uh, I mean, union as riders. And what exactly your deductions are and what exactly your recommendations will be. Maybe I'll add to Yeah, so, um, yes, I'm also a member of um, the special uh, marshal in uh, Mobile FRC in your state. And what informed that was the call marshal for the state felt we could add value towards safety or road safety in Oyo State. So what um, had happened is a, um, a, a special unit of special marshal was coined out of the regular marshal just to see how we can assist um, the FRC. And what we do typically, we go on routine um, parade. Or what's mm. that thing called now? Help patrol. to patrol. Patrol, patrol. Help okay. to control traffic. I mean... Maybe every Thursday people. or once in a month, that is one thing. The other thing we do is also do enlightenment, just like what we're doing on radio right now, either with Splash or with other um, FM stations out of the battle, just to speak to the people, to help them understand public safety, public awareness, how to look at, um, look at for other, other, other road users. And I think the other thing we also do is, look, it's, I, I believe it's a collaborative work between every agency safety of life and property is everybody's work mm. um one of the things that austin said i also thought i should also add to when you asked what messaging are we passing across for me essentially the messaging is the fact that you're a uniformed personnel or any public figure for that matter we need to get to a point where you recognize that you are here to serve the people this is okay. taxpayers money we shouldn't see a policeman and start wearing our pants we should be able to come to you, excuse me, sir, I need direction. Excuse me, sir, I'm lost. Excuse me, sir, this is happening. Not that when we see policemen, we're shaking and shivering. And it's not just bikers. It's across every citizen in Ibadan, in Oyo State, in Nigeria. As soon as the pro uniform people begin to see that we're all citizens, we share commonality as human beings, I think the better for all of us as, um, as, as Nigerians. Okay, so um, as we wrap up now, as we wrap up now, um, I, I want you to, um, you know, speak again to the authorities, particularly the police. Uh, what exactly do you want from them? Oh, uh, let me share the point. Uh, firstly, we want them to see us as uh, human beings, as a fellow human beings. They are not superhumans. We are all humans. Yeah. So they should treat us with mutual respect. I would like to walk to a police station and probably, if I have any complaint, I should be free. But that's when you get to the police station and the gate is locked and the person at the gate is asking you, what do you want? You know, then it sends a sense of fear that, ah, am I even welcome here to even lodge a complaint? Or, mm. So we need to go beyond the narrative of having fear okay. or tremble with the harm securities. It may okay. not even just be police. It could be any of the other government agencies that are in charge of security. Okay. All right, so, um, well, I, I wish uh, uh, you guys stay safe always. Thank and you very much. wish you well. Um, Pilium Riding Club uh, Secretary Austin Obe, as well as uh, Tony Akara. Thank you very much, guys, for coming. Thank, Thank you very much, much Michael. Thank you very much. I'm hoping that I'll be able to afford one bike so that I can join. <laughs> I, I, know, I know a few guys who can help me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. All right. It's still talking points on Splash FM here in the city of Ibadan. Commercial break and I'll be back. Please don't go away.
Flash FM 105.5. Session filled with lots of fun and excitement. Stay safe, stay healthy. Indomie noodles, tasty nutrition, good for you. Are you in need of a nice and comfortable fully furnished hostel accommodation in the University of Ibadan? Or are you in search of a place for seminars and executive trainings? Look no further. Adibayu Akonde Hall is the go-to place for your lodging needs with a home away from home feel. Adibayu Akonde Hall is a four-star hostel built in a serene environment with constant supply of electricity. It has fully furnished rooms that gives you great comfort at an affordable price. Affordable price. Adibayu Akonde Hall is located at Ajibode Extension, University of Ibadan. For inquiries and reservations, visit www.adibayohall.com or call 080-5699-8718 or 080-5699-8719 or 080-5699-8720 At Debayu Akonde Hall Built for comfort Built for you <coughs> Ode, now what do you define for kitchen? My dear, now soon to drink off Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, take comics. Trust here. Drink and get relieved. Yes, so. Salad comics for scratch, scratch throat. Comics get the strumento fan and guy in a scene. Just here. Drink and get relief from cough. We de kulele to drink. Ah, are they relieved now? I love comics. Now, only just limited to distribute comics. Products in the drowsy. These symptoms never stop after 30 days. Need to walk and go see your doctor. Comics. Hey you! Yes! You listening to this ad, think of what you can quickly do with a million naira right now. <laughs> Quite a number of things, right? But do you know that you can easily win a million naira by opening a savings account, create an at-ease wallet with Stambik IBTC Bank, or fund your existing active or inactive account or wallet with a minimum of 5,000 naira? Oh yes, it's that easy. Win your share of the big money up for grabs in the Stambik IBTC Reward for Saving promo. Simply get on our mobile app, Quick Services platform, or visit any of our branches to open an account and fund it with a minimum of 5,000 naira to stand a chance to win a hundred thousand naira in the monthly draw of the grand prize of one million naira promo is open to new and existing customers and runs till monday 29th november 2021 terms and conditions apply stambic ibtc it can be milo hello give me milo please two sachets okay are you sure you don't want to try something else this something else does it have active go ah active k Active Go, that mix of protobalt, minerals, and vitamins. Eh? Proto what? <laughs> Look, it's okay. Just give me my Milo because things that I buy for my kids, I don't compromise one bit. Give your kids winning energy. Milo Active Go, with the goodness of malt, milk, and cocoa, helps them make the most of every day. Milo, the energy to go further. Building on the successful completion of our first session with attendant testimony of our professional handling of the classes, we invite interested applicants to enroll for the next stream at the Splash FM Media Academy, an arm of the West Midlands Communications Limited. Our mandate to us in presentation, journalism, programs and content development, basic production and digital media, presentation in Yoruba, and so on, leading to the award of Certificate of Proficiency in Broadcast Journalism. Broadcast journalism. Course duration is six weeks of intensive practical classes plus interactive practical mentorship sessions with veterans and industrial placement to register visit the splash fm media academy beside white house felele ibadon for inquiries call 070-543-933-32 or 080-569-98676 on facebook twitter and instagram we are at splash fm academy <laughs> Hey, you 
lo bara ba capsule oju ni mo le ara etun bare ma gbodi osan lowo wa ko se gbogi ta fi ma ejine se fun itoju e mo le ti o mo le kedere tabi to mu bayi bayi oju lo bara ba capsule e gbogi oni koroni na da ki lu lo te gba authentic clear fusion lo se o wa ni chemist ati pharmacist to slam gbe gbe e tun le ri ran office authentic clear fusion to wa business complex le gbe amidu ajibade shopping complex gate badon afani lo wa fun alagbata to nko ni pali pali Pelu mama ATM POS o ga gbugbu awon POS o de yi o o ni mo se wa fe kan si awon mama ATM to ba ni sobo to si fe bi mama ATM POS o kan si mama ATM ni number 6A Olani Yafagbe Mi Street of Mobile Bus Stop Legbe Fort Ilife Center Iyagan Koji Are Ibada ni ilu eko suit 80 Alausa Shopping Mall Ikeja 0829950554 mama ATM POS ba wo pelu irorun kini kan wa ti gbogbo obirin ma ni ti won ba ti di abiyamo ki o mo ti e bi re ba ni rora tori ba fo won se bi ja fara leu abiyamo ki fi igba irora fale pelu e ma nbi parasitamo to yara pa ti ki gba lo ka bo oni gboro fun agbalagba ati olomi to ladun opon yibo fun awon omode yo le efori ati ara riroji na si e bi re mi am bi ka tin peregede o le ni adorin odun ohun ni awon obirin to ri nu rode fi okan tan fun efori ati irora ni iwe alora mira mi la ri popa eyan e ma nbi parasitamo ti irora ko ba lo leyin ojo meji ri dokita re e ma nbi parasitamo Irora ko le da oduro Coming Oh Vincent just the person I want to see You're welcome Please sit down sit down <laughs> What happened chief You're looking all bright and cheerful today <laughs> Unlike last week when uh, <laughs> Forget about last week I now have my insurance policy from Linkage Assurance PLC That means all my containers motor vehicles and my warehouse are well protected Hey, I hear that Linkage Assurance PLC is now bigger, yes, bolder, yes. and better to offer various classes of insurance like motor insurance, oil and gas, fire and burglary, agriculture, marine and aviation, and general accident insurance with prompt claim settlement. To get your Linkage Assurance policy, please call 0700-546-52273. Linkage Assurance PLC. Protection that counts. Drop life, live life, do the things that go make you happy. Them no like I'm the ones you left. Everybody gets your flavor. Drop life, drink up, one glass of water now to step down. Them no like I'm the ones you left. Everybody gets your flavor. Oh, 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 oh. Share happiness. Splash FM on the five point five. All right, you're welcome back. You're still talking points on Splash FM here in the city of Ibadan. You can watch me on Facebook, okay? Just go to Splash FM 105.5 and you'll find me there. Okay, so just uh, join the conversation there if you can. I'd like you to drop your comments. You can share the video as well. We'd like to reach as many people as we can uh, with the message of uh, gender. I mean, just uh, making sure that we program our minds towards making progress as a collective. And then we can, you know, use that collective to make our nation better. And that's the whole idea behind this program. All right, so the next matter that I thought to talk about. Okay, so before I go to the next matter, really, okay, you can, uh, as you watch me, you can send in your comments. I'll read them before I leave today. 
for instance, I'd like to ask your opinion about, or, you know, or perspective about the federal government's insistence uh, that um, naming terror sponsors uh, is not the, the objective. The objective is to get justice. I'd like to ask your opinion on, on that. Okay, you can send me a message on Facebook. Okay, just uh, go to the video that you are looking at now and uh, key in your comments. I'll read them. And then you can also send me an SMS. 0805699 uh, Those are the numbers, okay? Um, this is uh, John Lucky Ogove. Good job. Thank you very much. Raham, Rahim Ramat he says, You guys are bigger boys riding power bikes. Okay, you are talking about my guests who just left. Uh, easy, honey. Uh, rides as well. Great job. Thank you very much for your kind words. They are indeed soothing words, okay? This is Femi additional speaking. Federal government are not interested in naming and shaming terror sponsors. Justice will be served. So Femi additional presidential spokesman says the federal government is not interested in naming and shaming sponsors of terrorism. Additional said this on Monday during an interview on channels television. And so remember, the week before, that's last week, the United Arab Emirates, UAE, placed six Nigerians on terror lists. Um, asked if President Mohamedou Buhari would comment on the issue of terrorism at the United Nations Assembly following the naming of six Nigerians as sponsors of terrorism in UAE. Additional said the government, the federal government focus will be on prosecution of suspects. He says naming and shaming won't be the motive, rather bringing the malefactors to justice would be it. Nigeria is not interested in naming and shaming anybody, rather it wants to bring them to justice. Uh, that's what he said. I'd like you to listen to him and um, just, just get a, a, you know, the audio here that I have here and then let's uh, talk after now. Naming and shaming will not be the motive, rather bringing malefactors to justice will be it. Nigeria is not interested in naming and shaming anybody. Rather, it wants to bring them to justice. You will see that the United Arab Emirates has given some names, and the Attorney General of the Federation has responded to that matter, saying that in due course, all these people will have their dates in court. Rest assured that these people will uh, be dragged before justice, and justice will have its way. We don't take people before the courts without investigation having happened. I think even the EFCC chairman, uh, Bawa, spoke about it recently. Investigations are going on at different levels. It will be at the level of the EFCC, it will be at the level of the National Intelligence Agency. All the security agencies will be working on it so that when those people eventually appear in court, that there will be what the lawyers call a prima facie case against them. You don't first call people before the courts and start looking for evidence against them later. No. The cases will be tied up before they are going. Naming and shaming will not be the motive. All right, so that's uh, uh, Femi Additional, uh, uh, Special Advisor to the President on uh, Media and Publicity, saying uh, naming and shaming, not the motive. All right, so um, I'd like you to also uh, listen to, um, you know, Abubakar Malami, the uh, Attorney General, and uh, Minister of Justice as well. The, this is the punch. It says, federal government has identified block terrorist financiers in Nigeria, Malami says. The federal government has said it has successfully blocked terrorism financing in Nigeria. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, has said. Malami told the news agency of Nigeria in New York that the federal government had also succeeded in identifying and detaining high-profile individuals responsible for funding terrorist activities in the country. The AGF had announced in May that the Nigerian government was about to begin the prosecution of over 400 suspected Boko Haram financiers and was profiling some high-profile Nigerians strongly suspected to be financing terrorism for prosecution. Uh, so that's what he said now. He said, we have succeeded in identifying those that are responsible for funding terrorists. We have also blocked the leakage, leakages associated with the funding and then embarking on aggressive investigation and the rest of it. I think you should listen to this from uh, the man himself. This is uh, Malami 
Attorney General speaking here. The terrorist funding and financing has indeed um, been crippled substantially and that eventually translated to some imp major improvements being recorded as far as uh, crippling the strength of um, a t terrorist is concerned within the nation. You can see visibly that we are indeed wit witnessing tremendous successes associated with the Boko Haram, which uh, translate to significant dissemination uh, of the Boko Haram terrorists. They have been decimated to a larger extent, to a larger degree. You can see what is unfolding as far as um, the Northwest um, bandits, uh, I mean, to a larger extent, to a larger degree. All these are indeed the effect of um, the effect of what we have done. We have succeeded in doing in terms of identifying the uh, blocking, sorry, in terms of blocking the terrorist financing and funding. So as far as that aspect is concerned, we have succeeded, one, in identifying those that are responsible for funding, two, blocking the leakages associated with funding, and then three, embarking on aggressive investigation that is indeed uh, impacting positively in terms of the fight against uh, terrorism. It's still talking points on Splash FM here in the city of Ibado. Talk to me now. 0809 155 1055, 0805 You can uh, key in your text, I mean, your comments by text uh, on one of these uh, phone numbers. And then you can also send in your comments on Facebook as you watch me on Facebook. Beautiful colors, you like to say, right? Okay, so uh, let's join the conversation now on Facebook as well, as we live stream now. Uh, Splash FM 105.5 Ibadan. That is the destination. 0809 155 and 0706949 Naming and shaming terrorist uh, financier, financiers would not be Hello. the motive. Hello, good afternoon. Comrade Sado, let's talk quickly, sir. FG has raised the press again, but no naming and shaming of the terrorists. After all, that way we can decimate their power. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Uh, that's the way to decimate them. Okay, uh, talk to me. Uh, what's your own opinion? Is um, naming and shaming your own way or just, um, you know, on the ground uh, prosecution, you know, making sure that we tie, you know, tie in, tie out and make sure that we sort out all questions uh, during the investigation? Uh, sometimes you will be tempted to desire uh, the way some of these advanced countries carry out their own investigations. So investigation already done, you have a large dossier before you are arrested. And then they just go to court. Uh, so sometimes um, um, would that um, you know, process really work for us in this country? These are some of the questions I have on the table. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're welcome to Talking Points today. What's the name, please? Um, Comrade Olu Awuyemi. Comrade. From Oyo. Yes, sir. Uh, naming and shaming. I, I mean, people have to know their needs now, and they have to know their... <coughs> what, 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 what about all the accused people taken to court? Don't, don't they know they are dead, dead them in the newspapers? If you don't know them, how, how are we sure that justice has been done? Mm. So let us go and be done clearly for me. God bless Nigeria. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, what, what about what about saying it this way? That um, sometimes when you quickly, hurriedly name, uh, you know, sponsors of terror or you name criminals, that uh, you you will not jeopardize, uh, you know, the process. So so maybe that's why the government is saying we keep the names under wraps for well, now. Well, how long? How long have they been be saying that? How long have they been saying that? All right. Is the for my table for how many years? God bless Nigeria. All right, thank you very much, uh, Comrade Olu Awuyemi. There, you'd like to join the fray? Uh, please do. 0809 155 1055 0805 and 0706949 Those are the numbers if you'd like to join the conversation today. Uh, naming and shaming uh financiers of terror or 
just uh, you know prosecuting them properly and appropriately uh, before we begin to see their faces hello good afternoon uh, good afternoon you're welcome to talking points what's the name yeah, go okay yeah. yeah, yeah. you see the attorney general is just taking the we are not going to name and shame as we know that the next neighbor not people they are talking about mm. that will people be cautious and be careful about the financial crime and then i think just the sense for the plight of nigeria mm. who doesn't uh saudi arabia names those who were financing the terror in their country are they not nigeria are they even prosecute them mm. what the hell are we talking about ah uh. anyway to them. I want no alone. Okay, where are you calling from, please? Badon. Where in Ibadan are you calling from? Ingo. All right, Ingo. Thank you very much for calling. Uh, okay. Um, here is this uh, story. Insurgency, destruction, worse than imagined. Lai Muhammad here talking. Um, all right, that's read a bit of that story. Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has lamented the rate of destruction of infrastructure in Borno State and other parts of Nigeria. According to him, uh, the destructions are worse than he had imagined. He said this in a town hall meeting in Maiduguri Thursday, uh, according to a copy of his speech obtained by a correspondence of the punch. Uh, come back to that story. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, I think God will determine me, me and see me. If they are guilty, then the shame will be there. If they are not guilty, then that will not be apply, uh, 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 applicable. Thank you very much. Comrade Sandu, we are calling back. Okay, so the courts should decide when to name and shame. All right, so that's uh, after the cases have been, you know, fully, uh, fully, fully, I uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, done. Okay. Uh, what do you say? Oh, it's oh nine one five five ten fifty five oh eight oh five six nine nine eight six seven eight and oh seven oh six nine four nine three thousand. It's still talking points on Splash FM here in the city of Ibadan. You'd like to talk to me? Uh, why not? Uh, let's talk. Name and shame sponsors of terror or run out the course of justice before you show them or essentially uh, close your your investigation and before you uh, make arrests or you know show their faces to the public uh, would it not be too hasty and um, you know and also jeopardize the course of uh, you know investigation and justice if we speedily uh, hurriedly mention names of sponsors of terrorism in nigeria questions for all of us now hello good afternoon hello good afternoon you're welcome to talking points today what's the name can you please bring down the volume on your radio can you please bring down the volume Nigerian leadership is dissatisfied. Uh, that can be trusted. Uh, it, we, it's, a, it's a country which the leadership is built on falsehood. Mm. And this we know. When you cover events of this nature, it's a way of covering it up. You are not shaming, you are not naming, you are not doing anything. No, it, we may trust them that in this kind of country, if it is somebody that is close to somebody in the government, it's a way of burying, burying it. We don't trust anybody in, in, in this kind of so, leadership. So, so, you, assume, so, so you, saw, you assume that this government will, you know, really um, protect anybody who is sponsoring those who are taking arms against the government? They should. They should. Okay. I know who are being. This is a very serious criminal charges. Hmm. Very criminal. All right. We have been talking about it in this country, and the, and the government keeps saying that they know those who are in charge. And um, hello. Good afternoon, Martha. Good afternoon, sir. Hi, Papa. Yes, sir. Can I ask you one question? If I can answer, why not? What has happened to our case? It's a rubber killing. Okay. You have not answered my question. I have yeah. enough credit card. Answer me. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Now, I am not myself with the last speaker. Okay. There is such deficit in this country. Okay. Particularly, no, you know, this too much. Mm. Now, they said the terrorists have been designated. Mm. Have they been designated? We hear of killings and killings and killings every day, every hour. Now, we are just all day. We have a day care. Okay. Where is the prison they are kept? Where were they arrested? Mm. All right? 
So, mm. you're telling us lies. That they, in fact, I don't even believe that they have anybody in Kassel the Nats. Mm. We had about 400, 400 uh, in, uh, for the past six months, they've been telling us this, or even a year. Where are they? I think they only go there to go and tell them that they have arrested 400. He said, it's, it's, it's not Euro. Okay. Because right. Nobody can trust this government at all. Ah. People will not say, because they already do. That's why you will not tell the truth. I know. Because nobody can trust this please, government. Mr. Yobaba Yemi, don't bring me into this conversation. Yes. Just give me your own opinion, okay? I'll, I'm okay with I your know, own I opinion. I know, I know. Radio man, you can't say it. Ah. You know, we are the only one who can say it. <laughs> <laughs> so mind them. All right, thank, you. Know, thank you very much for calling, sir. Thank you very, very much uh, for calling. Okay, I'll be back after these commercials. It's still talking points on Splash FM. Please don't go away. Splash FM 105.5. <laughs> Oil. Now, Obonga quality oil, we fresh, well, well, and the price now carry go. It gets tamper proof and it day for different, different sizes. So, as it is sweet your belly, it is sweet your pocket. Oh, yeah, jolly inside better. Go buy Devon King's oil for shop when near you. Bonio, yo, ganka nisi, efumini, M and B paracetamol. Only? Yes, kukwa. Bali, M and B paracetamol, yon te garag balala. Si wako adron yon drusi. E yinu jeki, M and B paracetamol je. O jino wogo ti do yon jako. E fori atarari ro. A wafu fusini wafu ko. M and B paracetamol, si yon risashe si kukwa. Timbe nore. Duroko shayo wu fini fini o. Kori dadi wipe. M and B paracetamol. Ala wako pa nuwa fwo. Ile ishe me and B kana jiri api yon si. Ti shon jino wogo ni ishe. M and B paracetamol. M and B paracetamol. Irora o le da o duo. Ti irora kuba lo lenyo jom eji. Rido kita. And you tell me, that is just what you do or from what way you're buying. Then you're what way you're not boring in it. Long guy, you do air recharge and blow. You walk on a way, but don't you have me lost or say that is your goal. No million on Ira, but Roji Lenny Batty, my one megabyte at your guant. You shall love it. Oh, but you're a way, but oh, no, they get off. Well, I see what you see. Test a four, 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 star, four hash. You belong to it. You better buy it. It is your dog on the log motion. You can't do it. Airtel. The Smartphone Network. Building on the successful completion of our first session with attendance testimony of our professional handling of the classes, we invite interested applicants to enroll for the next stream at the Splash FM Media Academy, an arm of the West Midlands Communications Limited. Our mandate to restore professional excellence in the broadcast industry is still on course, and that's why we invite you to hurry up and enroll now for full-time and part-time intensive practical lectures and presentation, journalism, programs and content development, basic production and digital Digital media, presentation in Yoruba, and so on, leading to the award of Certificate of Proficiency in Broadcast Journalism. Broadcast journalism. Course duration is six weeks of intensive practical classes plus interactive practical mentorship sessions with veterans and industrial placement. To register, visit the Splash FM Media Academy beside White House, Felele Ibadan. For inquiries, call 70 543 933 or 080-569-98676 on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We are at Splash FM Academy.
Prince Old Toilet Cleaner. Small change, big difference for a healthy family. My people, better don't land. Make una come see Ogonge Cable. Where them manufacture for we Obodo Nigeria. Na pure chem cables. Pure chem cables na correct electrical cable. Where they reliable, dependable, and the people where they make them call, they safety conscious. Pure chem cables get original copper and aluminium cable for different sizes them. Where you fit use for electrical wiring level for anywhere. Whether na your house, abi na your office. The price on call in no the tier pocket at all. Nationwide distribution don't start. For more informate call 0808-030-3257 0808-030-3257 Pure Chem Cable and Wire Limited They have print compound 40 gate 122 slash 132 Also the Papa Expressway Iyano Solo Bus Stop Lagos Pure Chem Cables Nigerian Electrical Contractors Endorser SON Approver Pure Chem Cables Now you be go Kile ka wa ti gbogbo obirin ma ni ti won ba ti di abiyamo ki o mo ti e bi re ba ni rora tori ba fo won se bi ja fara leu abiyamo ki fi igba irora fale pelu e ma nbi parasitamo to yara pa ti ki gba lo ka bo oni gboro fun agbalagba ati olomi to ladun opon ibo fun awon omode yo le efori ati ara riroji na si e bi re mi am bi ka tin peregede o le ni adorin odun ohun ni awon obirin to ri nuro de fi okan tan fun efori ati irora ni iwe alora mi rami laari pupa eyan e ma nbi parasitamo ti irora ko ba lo leyin ojo meji ri dokita re e ma nbi parasitamo Irora kuli dao duro My guy 100 million era don lando For people when sabi to come chop and reach all For where? Na for Muzad Beto Eh? 100 million naira. I beg how of it win Na to go register for Muzad Beto Just go log on to www.muzadbet.ng I say www.mozzartbet.ng And you will get 100% welcome bonus Sharply, sharply For your first deposit And you too go soon become millionaire be that oh. Just continue to charge your winnings With our Muzad Bet 1000% super multi bonus Oh boy eh? No be small thing so I beg I don't join <laughs> <laughs> Better day for Mozart Beto. Just go log on to www.mozartbet.ng. I say www.mozartbet.ng. Go register. Oh, make, make you hammer. Mozart Bet. Terms and conditions. This show. <laughs> Body, now what do you define for kitchen? My dear, now spoon to drink of Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, take comics, trust here, drink, and get relief. Yes, so, summer comics for scratch, scratch throat. Comics get the strumento fan and gaffinacin. Just here, drink and get relief from cough. Ide kulele to drink. Ah, are they relieved now? I love comics. Now, only just limited to distribute comics. Products in Mickey Johnson. His symptoms never stop after three days. Make you walk and go see your doctor. Comics, Ide Hey, you tell me, that's a jassy boy, what it do, Rolf, Bob Bay, your bay, Ben, you, Bob Bay, and your new boring new Colonga, you do air to recharge and blow. He walk on Rawai, Pedro Jamie, Los Ose, that's a Jogon, who million, who Naira, but Roji, Lenny Batty, Mewa, Megabyte, at your guant, you shall love her. Bob Bay, Rawai, Pedro, no, 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 no. Fuala, it's what you see, test a four, 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 star, four, hash. If you don't go eat it, better buy it, it's your dog, or the log, or you can't do it. Airtel, the smartphone network. Coming! Oh, Vincent, just the person I want to see. You're welcome. Please sit down, sit down. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, what happened, Chief? You're looking all bright and cheerful today, <laughs> unlike last week when. Uh... <laughs> Forget about last week. I now have my insurance policy from Linkage Assurance PLC. That means all my containers, motor vehicles, and my warehouse are well protected. Hey, I hear that Linkage Assurance PLC is now bigger, yes, bolder, yes. and better <laughs> to offer various classes of insurance like motor insurance, oil and gas, fire and burglary, agriculture, marine and aviation, and general accident insurance with prompt claim settlement to get your linkage assurance policy please call 0700 546 52273 linkage assurance plc protection that counts splash fm 105.5 All right, it's still talking points on Splash FM. We've got time for one or two more calls. Uh, if those calls will materialize now, 0809 155 1055, 0805 69.